Hello and welcome to episode 4 of this series for creating a useful editor tool with Unity's UI Toolkit. Let's start by cleaning things up a bit by creating two regions. First region we create will be called button methods. And that will be encapsulating this create texture and export image method. And now I can minimize this. And the second region we create will be called alpha methods. And that's just encapsulating this supply alpha gradient method for the time being. So we'll be looking at our event callbacks today. Firstly, we'll just call the apply alpha gradient method in here and in here. Next, what we want to do is implement our alpha input change and alpha slider change methods. So back in Unity, if I open up our alpha editor, what I want to happen is when I move this slider around, the number should change in this input field here. And if I also put a number in this input field, I want that to also change the position of where the slider should be. So let's go back to the code. So in alpha input change, we'll use alpha slider dot set value without notify and we'll make that to evt dot new value and we'll do something similar with the alpha slider change where instead we're using alpha input dot set value without notify and we'll change that to event dot new value since they both have registered value change callbacks, we are using set value without notify, so they don't notify each other to keep on calling back to each other. And then we'll also paste this apply alpha gradient method underneath both of these two. So let's save this and go back into Unity. Now when we open our alpha editor and we move the slider around, you can see the number changes in here. And if we put the number in the input field, you can see it's changing the slider position. Okay, let's go back to our code. Next, we will insert this code for texture option selected. So if you remember, our texture option is a drop down list. And the first choice would be creating a texture, where the second choice would be loading a texture. So if we selected from our dropdown to load a texture, what we would want to do is hide the create texture input fields and the create texture button, but display the load texture object field. And in the case of if we chose from our dropdown field to create a texture, we would instead just show the custom text values, which is the input fields for the creating a texture and the generate texture button. And we would instead be hiding the load texture object field. And at any time we choose an option which is different from the drop down list, we want to null our selected texture, texture field value and the image preview background image. And lastly, we will call the apply alpha gradient method. So if we save this and go back into Unity, and we open our editor tool. So now in this texture option drop down, when we select load texture, it'll show you the object field for the texture and it will hide those input values and when we select it back it will hide that object value 
but if we notice as we switch between these there's a bit of a height difference so it sort of like goes up and down so what we'll do is we'll go into our UI builder and for the texture field we will set the padding at the top just by one pixel okay I'll save this so now when we go to add a tool and go between these options you'll see that there is no height change anymore cool so let's go back to our code and this time we will be implementing the alpha option selected method we'll do that by inserting this code so this is similar to the other method where we change what we're going to be hiding and displaying when we choose an option from the drop down method so our first option in the alpha drop down menu is alpha hold and all the subsequent options in the alpha drop down menu are gradient related so we only want to show the alpha slider when the top option is selected or when we choose any option but the top option we will instead hide the slider and show the gradient field instead and lastly we'll also make a call to apply alpha gradient so let's save this and let's go back into unity so when we open our editor this time and we choose between alpha hole and any of these other options it'll show a gradient and on alpha hole it will just show the slider and yet again when we choose between these you can see like there's this size difference between some of the elements so we'll fix this by going into gradient field and we will set the padding at the top to 3 and save this and now you can see that there is no height difference but now we have this lot of space down the bottom so we'll be changing that back in the script and all the way back at the top of the script when we done our open editor window method we'll instead set our y value here to 500 and save that now back into unity and now when we open it you can see it has shrunk down and everything is now flush nice go back to our script and lastly we will be updating this texture selected method first we'll start by inserting this code and what is implied by this is if our object field has been set to null or in terms of the editor if we have selected none as the texture we will assign null to selected texture and we will also null the background image of the image preview and exit out of this method otherwise we are assigning the output name to be whatever the texture name is plus we're appending adjusted to the end of it and then we are also assigning the, the texture we have assigned through the object field to be selected texture next we'll be refactoring a method we previously created top in create texture we will be refactoring this section here so we'll highlight all of this and right click and choose refactor extract extract method and we'll call this method set preview dimensions so the two parameters we have for set preview methods is going to be a width and a height 
So if we go all the way back down to our method, find texture selected, we will call set preview dimensions and we are going to set the first parameter to selected texture dot width and selected texture dot height for the second parameter and after that we'll also call apply alpha gradient so save this and we'll go into unity to check this out so if we open up our editor you can just test this on any images you might have just import it into the project i'll go to load texture and just test it out on these two we have this one that nice and this one so you can see that everything now fits within this preview image dimensions and it just scales accordingly excellent and if we also press export texture you'll see that the word adjusted has been appended to the original name of the texture which is this red reef free youtube subscribe transparent button icon so i'll just save that in assets and this is the copy i just saved so that rounds off this episode of the series in the next episode we'll be working with our compute shader so i will see you then peace